So far, we have already learned pretty much about blade templates. Now is the time to give the look and feel to our website by adding images and the styles to the web page. So in this video, we will be learning to add the images and external CSS files into our website. So stay tuned till the end and let's get started. So before getting started, if you are new here, make sure you click on that big subscribe button and do hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's see how to add a beautiful image here above my Laravel demo page caption. So if I want to include that image here, so what I need to do is I need to open the home page. Let's just open my home page that is the welcome.blade.php. So let's include an image tag here. So I'll write img and then we need to write src. We need to provide the source here and that's it. Or we can also write an attribute called alt. So let's say it's a cover image and that's it. Now what to provide inside the source? So whenever you want to upload any image or you want to display the images on the web page, you can keep it inside a folder called public. So whenever you are keeping the files inside public directory, it will be actually accessible to each and every page. I understand their security reasons uh, by putting that image in public folder uh, but what we can do is we can keep it simple for now and then in the later videos we can check out how to compile assets and CSS in this Laravel. So let's keep our image inside public directory and let me create one folder called images and inside it I will be putting my image so I already have that image and you can just uh, move it from here and keep it inside images directory and there it is so i made this uh, beautiful image inside the canva so you can use that app too so what you need to do is now you need to write the path of this image that is actually slash and images and then you need to write the image name so image name is basically okay where is my image this is my image so this is the image name so i'll just copy paste this here it's better you copy paste the names otherwise if you make any mistake in like uh it can be a uppercase or lowercase image then it will be a problem so this is my image name and you do not need to write here something like slash public because we are already inside the root and this public folder is directly accessible. So we do not need to write slash public. So now if I refresh the page, let's go here and refresh it. Okay, so it's saying there is no connection to the server. So, okay, so I have closed that connection. So, we need to switch on the server again. So, PHP artisan serve. And now the server has started. Let's refresh the page again. And you can see that this image is beautifully placed on the website. Now, let's try to change the little bit amount of the styling of this header and these links and let's try to add some CSS here. So we have already created the CSS code inside the layout page and we have checked out this layout in Blade uh, in our previous video. So if you haven't checked out that video, you can find the link in the description box below. So in this page, if you can see, we already have the CSS part that is the style part. So what you can do is you can keep the style portion inside an external file. So let's create a new file uh, and we will keep it inside public folder as well. So let's write here um, style.css. And let's keep it inside one more folder inside public. Oops. Inside one folder, let's say the folder in name is CSS. Let's keep this style.css inside it. 
Okay, so now if you want to access the style.css, you can access it simply by link tag. So now I will be just copy pasting the code of the CSS completely. Let's just copy paste this out and just remove this from here and paste it here. So we have saved the CSS in another external file that is style.css and here I have just removed this and it makes my code really short and simple. So what I need to do now is I need to just use this link tag and we need to write a style sheet. So let's copy paste this. Let's, pa let's paste it here. And in href, I need to write the link of the file. So in this, we will be writing slash CSS slash style dot CSS. So you don't need to give slash public again. And we have given the REL as well as the style sheet. Now let's check out it one more time, whether it is working or not. So yes, it worked out. We still have the same style. Let's change it a bit and write something uh, different in title. So we are already having this title CSS here, styling. So we can change the font size, let's say 250. And let's try to change the color also. So I'll write text. Then we have decoration. So we can write test decoration as well. Like you can write text decoration as aqua or something. Let's try it out one more time. Refresh it and you can see that yes, the size of the text has been gone down to 50 pixels. And let's try to have some more changes here. So instead of this text decoration, I'll be giving a simple color. So if I write color and then the color name as in the choices you will be getting here. So let me select this blue color, which is a really dark blue color. And if I just write here a uh, padding or you can write the text transformation, like you can write it in uppercase, lowercase, and also you can give a nice border to it. So I'll just write border top and let's take the border of crimson color. This is gonna be a bit huge on eyes, but let's see it out. So we are getting this Laravel demo page in blue color and this line is not coming because we have not given it a solid. So let's try it out and yes, this line is coming here as you can see in pink color. Let's uh, just change out the border. Let me write it as border bottom so that the border comes under the text. So if I just click enter again, yes, this border is coming below the text. So you can add multiple CSS and the stylings into your web page and you are free to do anything and you can play around with your styles, CSS and external files as well. So that's all for this video guys. If you like the content, hit that like button and do share it with your friends so that it reaches out to all the learners out there. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get all the latest updates from me. So stay tuned, we'll see you in the next video.